Now, this is one of those freebie things you can use from eBay. It's something that most people don't pay attention to or don't even think about. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to address a free thing you can do on eBay, a better way sometimes to find out information about some of your items. It's not going to cost you. Now, we're not talking about Terapeak or anything else like that. Many times I run into one-offs, things that just there aren't any other examples for sale anywhere. Worth point, nothing that you could possibly imagine shows up on some of the items that we end up turning up. Now, that doesn't mean they're worth a fortune or, you know, there's some priceless relic. It just means that one of them hasn't sold in a while. There may not even be a collector for it, uh, for that aspect of it. Now, one thing we've realized we can use and do with eBay is listing those items that we don't know what they are. List it really, really high and use a generalized term in the tile to garner some interest from some of the collectors. Most of these items that I'm talking about are in niches to begin with. So what I want to do is appeal to those in that niche that may help me address it. Probably more than 50% of the time, someone tells me what the items are. doesn't cost me. Somebody will send me an email stating, hey, this is this. And that goes for things like a typo that we may have had. Somebody will say, hey, you've got a word wrong, a letter's wrong, or something like that. And just the mere simple fact of fixing a single letter that was mixed up or something when it was typed into the title has allowed things to sell almost immediately after that change has been done. Now, I don't just automatically take someone's word for whatever they're stating is factual. I will then go ahead and research the information that they supplied because now I've got somewhere to start, somewhere to go with those items. And 99% of the time, the comments left or the, the statements made are true, factual. And then we go ahead and change the title. Now, that happens all the time. I don't think a week goes by where someone doesn't send out some type of email stating, hey, typo, hey, this is such and such. Sometimes there's basic information on the item and you think you got it all straight. And somebody will state, hey, there's a typo in the item itself. In a couple cases, I've had some postcards that stated it was in one specific state in this country, and it actually wasn't. It was in the wrong spot. Let's look at just a few of those types of emails that come in for items that, again, we need help identifying or we've misidentified or things like that. Now, we're just in eBay, and I'm in my messages right this second. Now, here's another one of those examples. Now, in some cases, some of the ones I'm going to show you, they've already sold, so I never even had to really correct the listing, or we ended the listing and did a sell similar with a fresh title, just to clear out the old junk. Sometimes we do that as well. Now, here's one of those buttons. Again, I looked into this a little better. This one doesn't exist, this listing. The new listing has the corrected information about where it's from. The Isle of Wight is a well-collected area, so this does help stuff like this sell. This is just a perfect example. Again, this is the old listing we have ended and sold similar, so this one doesn't exist anymore. Uh, the person who sent this one has been helpful for a very long time. I've actually reached out to them and offered them a major discount on something if they were interested just for all the help. Stuff like that happens. Having contacts like this as well are super, super important. Because so many of the items in some genres, some niches, are so seldom uh, seen that most people haven't a clue what they are. Sometimes people will even send me photos of items and stating, hey, here's where it's from, this is what it is. It happens constantly. And I'm not exaggerating in that number. It's probably close to 60% of the items that we haven't a clue on. We get free identification and help through posting them on eBay. We're not listing anything uh, wrong or Ill illegitimate in the title. We're doing a generic title, so it draws attention to it. So in all hopes, someone out there is going to say, hey, this is what you have. And again, it happens constantly. Now, here's another one. Here was where there was a simple mistake in the actual typing. Sometimes on these real photo, real picture postcards, the, the location of it's written in cursive sometimes. And sometimes the spelling is off. It may not be right. Sometimes it's hard to tell what the letters are because of how it's scratched into a plate of glass. So they do get mixed up occasionally. This is one of those cases where we fix the title thanks to this person right here, and it's sold the very next day. It was a simple typo. It was a letter, a single letter. O was in the title, and it should have been A. 
That is basically it. Same thing with over here. There should have been an A instead of an O. So the minute that we changed it, rolled in there, updated, and then within, say, six to ten hours, it was gone. So this is a, a huge plus. It didn't cost me a dime. This is a mistake, mind you. Something here someone missed. It's an honest mistake, too, again, because of the way it was written on the card. If you know anything about postcards, a real picture, real photo postcard is a photograph. And in many cases, they will actually scratch into the negative before the postcard is printed, the location. And many times there can be mistakes and errors, spelling mistakes, state mistakes, all that sort of thing. And even in some cases, the spelling or the designation for the state itself may have changed or be used wrongly. So that's another reason why it's great to get this type of free help. Now here's a real long one where someone went into the complete detail of some paper items, some toys that we had up. Now this is more than we usually receive, but in some cases I've received far more than this, including photos and breakdowns. I've even received offers to help in the future. Obviously they're hoping to get some item before someone else does, but these things are awesome when this happens. Someone gave me the complete history of this item, the manufacturer and the whole works. This is just a perfect example of how this can help you routinely. If you don't know or anything like that, this stuff will come in. So many times I'll say, I'll just list it and see what happens. Sometimes this stuff happens and someone helps me to identify it or offers more information that can crank up the price or get it sold very, very quickly. This is just a perfect example. Here's another one. This one obviously has been corrected. Royal Harwick. This is a yacht club. Same example. Sometimes it's hard to tell what it is. Sometimes it's a spelling issue. Sometimes the word Royal shouldn't be in there. It should just be Harwick or whatever company name it is. Now this is a special niche market. These are yacht club buttons in this case here. So the only real way to get help with these is to have the actual book, the identification book for these, which I do own, but there are so many that aren't in that book. And due to the small field of collectors and specifically yacht clubs, there aren't many people willing to spend the time to invest in making their own guidebook for them. So there isn't a new one that I'm aware of. So many of the ones that I run into aren't in the book and I have to try and track them down. Many times the only way I get the information is through someone who collects them like this person right here. It's the best way to do it. Now I always say thank you. I appreciate the help and the whole works. Every single one of these that comes in. This is a super, super good ploy to get some help on these. We've sold tons, thousands of dollars worth of stuff just because people have helped or offered more information. It, it's a no brainer with this one here. If you're not sure, put a generalized again title in it. Like this one here, I would put 19th century uh, scarce yacht club original uniform button and leave it at that. So I wouldn't state it's anything other than an old one. So anybody who's into yacht club items will check out the listing to know if it's something they need or don't need. And many times someone again will say something. In some cases within say in a day or so of me listing something, I've had two people help me on the very same listing. So if it's in a big enough field, big enough area, hopefully you can get enough information to get a solid title for it, to get it sold rather quickly. Here's another one. Now this is something that's been up for quite some time. I had no clue on what this was. So no one here had a clue on it. I didn't even think uh, uh, that it would be a Bank of America at all. So in this case, you can clearly see I've went ahead and changed it. Vintage Bank of America 20 year employee gold award pin. This should hopefully help it sell. Now when I go to look up comps on this, I actually can find comps because I know what it is now. Sometimes when you run into items with logos on them or, or business oriented things, if you don't know what the business logo is and you have no true way to find it, you're not going to be able to list it properly. So this is a perfect example of that. So I do have higher hopes that this will sell now. The prior listing title didn't make a lot of sense. It did look like it said the word Phil, but obviously it's Bank of America. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
magic boy, sure. Magic? Sure, just what? Sunny faces, smiling faces. Barbie's magic boy, you sure. We like magic. Oh, fantastic. Barbie and her fun car with the magic voyager. We're in your party. Barbie's new magic voyager with detachable fun car. Assembly required, doll sold separately. New from Mattel.